what's up? I am Unknown Shadow. This is Albert. This is Colorado. It's a little windy today. And this week, we're going to use the monkey for what it was actually made for. <laughs> running errands. I don't really get out and just ride the monkey much. Um, usually it's a project or another project or another project or something that I want to do to it or something that they want to do to the other bike. And so instead, since I have other stuff to do, might as well ride the monkey and uh, do something with that. But while we're out doing some errands, um, I figured I might as well also talk a bit about my helmet. I've had a few people ask questions about, oh, what helmet is it? How is the helmet? Any ideas? Um, and, you know, really, it's about time I actually, like, think a bit about it and have some opinions. So this helmet is the Biltwell Gringo S ECE. The shield specifically is a replacement bubble shield. Uh, the normal mask that comes with it is just a clear mask, a uh, nice flat clear mask, which I actually like as well. I'd be lying if I didn't acknowledge that I bought this helmet specifically for to, so that I could put a bubble shield on it. Um, I've seen pictures of them and I've always wanted to have a, a space helmet, so this gives me that chance. So I got this helmet, what, I think late July early August. It, it, it is a helmet that I've been looking at for years. Most of my riding career though I've been riding showy helmets um, and, and that's what I kind of started this channel with was one of the showy helmets. I think that one was the 1100 and I've loved showy helmets for however many years. I've had a few different ones but I'd always been eyeing these gringo helmets um, just for the sheer kind of look of them. I mean they've got that nice uh, retro vibe to them, kind of that throwback. And ever since I got the monkey I couldn't help but think, you know what, <laughs> maybe it's finally time. But I mean helmets are, helmets are, are an expense and they're also, they serve a very specific purpose. They are there for safety and protecting your head. So, um, Buying something just because it looks cool is a very difficult decision when it comes to something like that. Which is why I kept putting it off. But finally I was just like, you know what, screw it, let's try it. I had looked up some reviews, everything, especially the ECE version. Um, you know, they upgraded some of the internal padding, some of the, the shell, and it, it, as far as safety uh, concerns go, you know, it, it seems to meet all the dot and uh, ECE regulations. Full-faced, non-modular, um, so get some of that extra protection. I chose the Gringo S because it actually has the, the shield th such that I could actually open and close it versus the, I think, the non-S, which um, it's more snaps, the visor snaps on. I may at some point get the, the non-S version as well, just so that I can put goggles on and everything else and kind of go with that style. But for the most part, I really liked the the, the built-in shield option. And being able to kind of lift up the shield without having to figure out what to do with it. I came from wearing showy helmets, which are a bit on the expensive side and have a lot of bells and whistles, namely in being a little more quiet and everything else. And this helmet is a little bit noisier, especially wind noise and everything, but really not as bad as I was worried. This bike is noisy, especially with the, the RS3 Yoshi on the back. It's not unbearable. If I were going to do a longer ride, I'd probably wear uh, ear protection. I do have a Cardo in, so I have, you know, headphones in there. Um, or speakers in there and so I do get some music and I can hear the music if you want to hear me complain about not hearing the music I mentioned the Bluetooth connectivity kit on the Triumph in my last video link up there now that I'm getting a lot more wind from the as I'm riding along just from it the wind picking up um, you know head buffeting not too bad it's got a nice shape to it so i don't and especially with the bigger shell or the bigger visor closed 
no real problems of, the, of my head kind of being pushed around. One question that I did recently get is, um, it, it, somebody noticed there are no vents in this helmet at all. And that was a big worry of mine as well. You know, especially the summers here can get pretty warm, not as hot as some other places, but definitely warm. Getting this helmet at the beginning of the summer, I was definitely worried that I was making a major mistake. My showy had quite a few different vents all over the place. Plus this is a little bit of a darker color, this dark blue. I had to look to remember what color helmet it is. Even without the vents, I've had no problems like staying cool in this helmet, like throughout the summer. Um, this neck hole, it's a pretty pronounced um, opening, especially up here near the chin. Um, so a fair amount of air can make it underneath there and does a good job of circulating in, even with the, the visor closed. If I really needed some air, I can open up this visor and that eye hole, like the entire, this entire area is just huge compared to other helmets. I mean, even kind of looking peripheral vision, I can't see the helmet, I can't see the side of the helmet, which is really nice. And also why I was thinking about getting the Gringo so I could put on some goggles, so I could put on some goggles instead. I believe that this is the second version of this visor, um, and I I think I had heard some of the some problems with the earlier versions of these visors of like closing them, getting them to lock in place. With this second version of the visor, no problems at all. It locks into place. It's really simple, even with gloves on, to kind of close and snap in. Um, that was one worry that I had, like <laughs> figuring out that snap. I guess one thing to mention: so I wear a GoPro on the front. I have it kind of uh, 3M sticky tape down. And uh, when I first got this helmet, I didn't really want to put a 3M sticky tape on it. I didn't want to be that person. I wanted to be able to take the camera back off because it's such a cute helmet. And so at that time, I tried one of those front mount um, strap based camera mounts. And, uh, and it kind of goes up and I looped it around the, the, the lower part of the face shield. And it worked actually quite well, except that because of that mount, it pushed out a bit and it pushed out just enough that it made it too difficult to really close this visor, to lock it down with that snap. And I kept struggling with it. So finally I just took that off and uh, semi-permanent mounted my GoPro. It's gonna be on there anyway, I might as well. I, I think I was fooling myself into thinking that I was not gonna have it on there. I mean, it's it overall, this helmet has been, it's been a really nice helmet. I, I've had no problems with it. But yeah, so I, I definitely recommend this helmet, um, especially if you just like, if you want the style of it, uh, it's hard to beat. basically all I have this week. Just wanted to get out and actually take it, take the monkey for a ride. Kind of run some errands, get some time on the on two wheels in the midst of all the craziness. Talk a little bit about this helmet. Very much like this helmet. If I were doing a lot longer rides, I might think again about something a little bit quieter, a little bit more aerodynamic. But I mean, as far as looks go, as far as just tooling around, running errands, goofing off. This is a perfect helmet for that. And it's got the style to it, so that's awesome. With that, we'll call this a video. Hopefully you found something in it that you liked. If you did, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do those things if you like to do those things. But in the meantime, hopefully you're having a good day. Thanks for watching, bye.